The first COVID-19 case in Santa Rosa, Maruca Region 1 was recorded in April and weeks after a number of teachers, health workers and police officers tested positive for the deadly virus. Of the 89 confirmed cases, 10 were children. A total of 246 tests were done in the village. The village Tushau, Juanita Phillips, in a telephone interview with the newsroom, attributed the recovery to the health workers and their hard work. The village recorded one single COVID-19 death on May 25th, and none of the patients who tested positive had to be transported to Georgetown for further treatment. Well, I think um, it was handled in a professional way. I think the, the, the health workers did a fantastic job, along with the village council and the Whoever chip in to help, you know, and um, I think they have it under control and I would like it to stay that way because, um, you know, we're not out of the woods as yet. They said we were heading for the phase two now and we, we, we wouldn't like anybody else to get sick. The Tushau said the residents are finally coming to grips with the situation and are adhering to the COVID-19 measures. However, the village remains in total lockdown until August 15th, the strict 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew also remains in effect. The Tushau explained that the challenge now is maintaining the 12,000 residents under the lockdown to prevent a second wave of infection. Santa Rosa is the largest indigenous settlement in Guyana. The Amaranian People's Association, APA, is providing support to the village and others affected during this time, but the Tushau noted that only about 1,000 residents so far benefited. But there's still a lot of people to get help us yet because, like I said before, our village is very large and we would have only reached out to like maybe 1,000 people. And we have like 12,000 people here. Meanwhile, a 16-year-old Santa Rosa secondary student, Isanella Francis, tested positive for COVID-19 on June 24th. The young woman had returned to school to prepare for the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, CSEC exams, and believes she contracted the virus from her class teacher. Two other CSEC students from the school also tested positive. Francis was scheduled to write seven subjects at this year's examinations, but this did not happen after she tested positive. Over 30 students were registered to write the CSEC exams at the Santa Rosa Secondary School. When I was in the isolation, they told me that I can't sit any till further till next year. I feel very disappointing because I had plans after I finished writing CAC. What sort of plans? Uh, I was going to start the next school. Medical school? Francis was in isolation for over a month and only came out on July 30th. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.